Hi there, fellow adventurers! Welcome to my YouTube channel, Malina Life. Today I'm gonna share all the juicy details of my first months in Stockholm. We lived in two different areas, first in Solna, near Vastraskogen metro station, and then in Södermalm's Hammarbyhjöstad. But let me backtrack a bit, originally we were supposed to stay in an apartment hotel for three months, fully paid by my husband's company. However, fate intervened and we found a cool apartment super quickly, so we made the move right away. Our stay at the hotel lasted exactly one month from May 3rd to June 3rd. Oh, and here is a scoop on why we moved in the first place. Some of you asked me about that. It was all because of my husband's job in the game industry. He got an awesome offer from a new company and boom, we found ourselves in Sweden. Now I couldn't be happier with the way things turn out. Sweden is simply stunning and the more I explore, the more I fell in love with it. All right, let's dive into our first location, Solna. It is a northern municipality of Stockholm. We stayed at Biz Apartment Solna, which is a chain hotel with several locations across the city. Тебе нравится? Пляж рядом, возле нашей резиденции. Ну, она типа прохладная, но я думаю, я поплаваю. Ну, дети плавают. Our room was pretty neat, a 30 square meter space with a queen size bed, wardrobe, armchairs and a dining table. And guess what? The kitchenette was fully loaded with all the gear you need for cooking. Coffee maker, electric kettle, microwave, stove and more. Plus there is a sharing washing area that's super handy for longer stays. Oh, did I mention the price? Our stay was covered, but for others it can cost around 900 crowns for a room. But hey, if you stay longer, the price drops. And if you're lucky enough to request a discount through your company, even better. I totally recommend this apartment Solna for extended stays, but maybe not so much for weekend getaways. Outside the hotel, there is a this lovely park nearby called Augustendals Firehu. I fell head over heels for it. They have beautiful horses and experiences riders showing off their skills. I'm a huge horseback riding fan, and seeing those horses brought back some awesome teenage memories. I even made friends with a horse named Walder. He is an absolute sweetheart. Несчастливые, когда свободны. Да, это... Вот они бесены. Знаешь, что они делают свободных? И вот почему на полях нельзя ну, на лошади, если ты прям неопытный наездник, они несут. Несут и могут тебя нафиг скинуть. Вот меня так скинуло один раз. Как 
Блин, просто. Сколько прыть в них. Свобода. Она такая. The park is huge and has plenty of cool stuff like a boat station, outdoor pool and some cafes to chill out. Now the residential area around the hotel was pretty standard, but you know what I loved? Everything was well maintained and tidy, which says a lot about the city and its people. I gotta say, Sweden is all about aesthetics and cleanliness, and it is so pleasing to the eyes. There is a little eco shop nearby, where we got all our groceries. It had a good selection and we found everything we needed. Overall, Solna left me with positive vibes. Though I didn't feel completely at home there, but hey, that's just me and my first impressions. I'd love to hear what you think about Solna, especially if you're familiar with the whole area. I know some folks had mixed feelings, so share your thoughts in the comments below. Alright, now let's move on to the next adventure. Alrighty folks, time to take you on a tour of Hammarby Kjostad. I hope I said everything correct, sorry guys if I did something wrong. Anyway, I gotta be real with you from the get-go. This place stole my heart. It felt like home right away. But let's not rush, let's start from the beginning. Check out the map to get a feel for the area. Hammarby Hjostad or Hjostaden is this rad district in southeast part of Stockholm's inner city. It used to be an industrial area, but they transformed it into a sweet residential zone. So we set up cap at this apartment Hammer B. Hjostad. It is the same hotel chain as the one in Solna, but this one's more woogie and way pricier. Now let's take you on a room tour. The main room was around 27 square meters and it had a queen-size bed, wardrobe, an armchair and a dining table. Same deal with a TV, Wi-Fi and a fully loaded kitchenette, coffee maker, electric kettle, microwave, stove and all the kitchen jazz. Plus there is an ironic board, hair dryer and a swanky bathroom with a shower. The design was more modern and thought out, and the furniture was newer and fancier compared to the one in Solna. Oh, there is a sharing washing area too, but they might start charging for it soon. Personally, I prefer the cozy vibes of the first apartment. But here the kitchen and bathroom were on point. I'll drop the hotel link in the description. Maybe you give me ice and fire. You're chilling in the rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me. 
Now let's hit the streets and explore the area. I totally vibed with this place. It is all modern and beautiful with a chill vibe and a lake nearby for relaxing. We hit the cherry blossom season and the whole area turned pink and white, it was stunning. The Japanese alley was just magical. Across the bridge there were these country house looking houses that were super modern and cozy. The whole waterfront with the piers was my jam. I love stepping out for fresh air, work or just to admire the view. I might have low-key fallen in love with this place. Oh, there is a few grocery stores around, including a big eco with everything you need. Cafes and restaurants were also in abundance. The only bummer was the lack of a nearby metro station. We had to walk quite a bit or hop on a tram or bus to get to one. Rush hour was a bit of a hassle with all the people trying to cram in. But hey, a metro is planning for the future and they'll make this place a dream spot to live in. It is a perfect balance close to center, yet cozy and relaxing. The first month in Sweden was a roller coaster. Hubby had his first day at work, I was hustling with my work and of course video while setting into the floor. We explored the city center which we already adored and sorted all over the perfect apartment. More on that in the next video. And if you're curious about finding housing in Stockholm, hit me up in the comment. I'm happy to spill the tea on resources, cover letters, prices and all the apartment hunting deeds. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode XOXO. See ya!